everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to connect Dropbox with Google Drive. So here my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to upload any important files or images in my Dropbox folder, automatically that same file or the image should also be uploaded in my Google Drive folder as well. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Dropbox and Google Drive with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn how to do this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to connect Dropbox to Google Drive. So here my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to upload any file in my Dropbox folder, automatically that same file should be uploaded in my Google Drive folder as well. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between Dropbox and Google Drive with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you, in which you can see the five applications of Pabli, from which we're going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A new dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as How to Connect Dropbox with Google Drive. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. If you want, you can give a name to your workflow according to your requirement. After that, over here it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. So we're going to click on this arrow and these are the folders from which we are going to select Dropbox Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving our name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of how to connect Dropbox with Google Drive and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says Trigger, other says Action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for that. Click on this arrow and for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Dropbox. We are going to select our trigger application as Dropbox and for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new file as our objective is that, that whenever a new file is going to be uploaded in our Dropbox folder, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response, okay? As we have selected the trigger application and the event, let's click on connect in order to connect Dropbox to Pabli Connect. A new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. After that, click on connect with Dropbox. As you're going to do that, you can see that Dropbox is now successfully authorized to Pabli Connect. After authorizing over here, it is asking for the folder path. In which folder are we going to upload the files that we want to upload in our Google Drive folder as well. For the folder path, the help desk is given here below that how we are going to enter the data for this field. As you can see that this is my Dropbox account and I have created a folder in the name of important files. So for the folder path over here, I'm going to write it as slash slash important file. So this is my folder path. As in the example, you can see if the name of your folder is sample folder, then you have to enter the name of the folder in this similar manner over here in this field. Okay. And if you have subfolders as well, then you have to enter the data according to the example given over here in the help desk. Okay. So this is my folder in the name of important files. So for that is why for the folder path, I've written it as slash important files. Okay. After that over here, it says save and send test request. As soon as we go to click on this save and send test request button, the last file which has been uploaded in our Dropbox folder is going to be captured in the response in our Pabli Connect account. So what we are going to do is before clicking on save and send test request, we are going to upload a new file in this folder, important files right over here. For that, we click on upload or drop. We are going to select the file. For the file, I'm going to upload this report card of my student over here in this folder. So I'm going to upload the file. As you can see over here, a new file is uploaded in my Dropbox folder. You can see this is the file. 
this is the report card of one of my students over here and this is the file that I've uploaded in this folder. So as we have uploaded this file right over here, what we are going to do is we're going to open our Pabli Connect account and we're going to click on save and send test request. As we have clicked on save and send test request over here, we have received a response. In the response, we have received the details of the file that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder. This is the link of the document that we have uploaded. You can see this is the link right over here. For the name of the file that we have uploaded, it says test account underscore report card dot PDF. You can see the name of this file is test account underscore report card. Okay. So this is the same file that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder. So this means that we fully created a connection between Dropbox and Pabli. Connect and our trigger setup is done. But if you are not going to receive the response after uploading any new file in your Dropbox folder immediately, then do not worry. As Dropbox is in pulling based application, as you can see where it says 10 minutes, this is the pulling duration that means in every 10 minutes whenever a new data is collected by Dropbox it is going to send the new data in every 10 minutes to Pabli Connect. So if you are not going to get the response immediately over here in a trigger step do not worry okay and if you want to make any changes in this polling duration you can contact us on Pabli forum okay. After setting up our trigger step we need to set up our action step and as our objective is that, that whenever a new file is going to be uploaded in our Dropbox folder automatically that same file should also be uploaded in our Google Drive folder as well. So we going to now set up our action step and for the action application we are going to select it as Google Drive. So we're going to select our action application as Google Drive and for the action event we're going to select it as upload a file as we want to upload the same file that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder as well. So I'm going to click on connect right over here and new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that click on sign in with Google. A new window is then going to appear which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow as I say process my data is perfectly safe with public connect so I'm going to click on allow right over here. As you can see that we successfully authorized Google Drive to Pabli Connect. After connecting over here it is asking for the URL, the URL of the file that we want to upload in our Google Drive folder. For the URL over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How it works is that as soon as you go to click on this field you can see it says Dropbox new file and as soon as you go to click on this arrow this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. For the URL over here you can see this is the URL provided of the file that we have uploaded in our Dropbox account in our previous step. We're going to select this URL data from here. As we have selected the data, the data is mapped. And as the data is mapped, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here is going to be updated. Okay. Next over here, it is asking for the folder ID, the ID of the folder that we want to upload this file into. So I've created a folder in my Google Drive account in the name of important files and I want to upload all the files that I'm uploading in my Dropbox folder in this folder right over here. So for the folder ID, you can see that on the top URL, you can see after the slash, this is the ID of my folder. So I'm going to copy this ID from here and I'm going to paste the ID over here in my Pabli Connect account. Okay. Next over here it is asking for the file name, the name of the file that we are uploading in our folder. For the name of the file I'm going to map the data of the name of my file from my previous response. After filling all the details I'm going to click on save and send test request. As we're going to do that over here a response is received and over here for the result status it says success. So now I'm going to open my Google Drive folder and I'm going to check whether a file is uploaded in my Google Drive folder or not. For that I'm going to open my Google Drive folder and yes as you can see right over here a new file is uploaded in my Google Drive folder. I'm going to open this file from here. You can see that this is the same file that we have uploaded in our Dropbox account has now been uploaded in our Google Drive folder as well. So this means that we fully created an automation between Dropbox and Google Drive with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, my objective is that as soon as I'm going to upload any file in my Dropbox folder automatically that same file should also be uploaded in my Google Drive folder. For that what we have done is just simply created an automation between Dropbox and Google Drive with the help of Pabli Connect. And this is how we create this amazing automation. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or doubts. And please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.